You take the bin next. That's the time. Oh, you've got your sunblock on. Check Johnny's looking a bit red. Right, it's after 12. Do you want the first sitting or the second? Hey? Lunch. I'm not going through that line up again. Well, look, I can't be bothered looking all this lot back. All right, you stay and look after the umbrella. I'll be moaning in a minute. They're ice creamed up to their eyeballs, but it's inclusive. And I'm starving. I'll walk you back. No, no, you stay and keep an eye on the umbrella. What did you bring your wallet for? You should have left it at the hotel. Tony, put your T-shirt on. John! He takes after you. Come on. Right, you all set. Speak English? Yeah, well, you look after me bags for me. I'm sorry, now can we just leave it? Eh? I know they took the bag. That's all the sunscreens, all my makeup. All you had to do was sit there. How could you just go off like that? Tony! Don't lean over the balcony! No, oh, Tim, if I could just get this photograph blown up, I could prove it. Tony! Larry, his head's the size of a pin. It would cost a fortune. That's it, it's you wasted half a roll of film. Tony! I am watching you! Hey, come on, the pair of you inside now. Come on. Come on. You. Sorry. Hey, see you later. Tony, don't push those down. You'll play their olives. Go on, go and get him. What have you done with the stones? Can you, can you fax this immediately? Fax this immediately, thank you. And that's the number there, OK? And I'm in room 76. Thank you. The toilet is OK now. It was the shower. Oi! 
Where's Tony? He's looking for you. Second sitting's gone in now. Where have you been? I was, I was getting the shower fixed. Look, I'll go along the beach and look for him. Come on. Again today, I'm sure it's Eddie Myers. I was on his arrest. It was when I was still in uniform. He was a grass, an informer. I mean, he put down God knows how many blokes, but we knew he had more than a million stashed. And he escaped from custody. Uh, excuse me, mate. Excuse me. Hey, you listen. I was on the arrest of one of the guys he named. Passed him in the colours, but he was this close to him. And he was laughing, laughing his head off. That's probably why I remember it. Uh, uh, room 76, please. Same again there. And uh, I'll have a beer. It's beer? Yeah. Uh, lager. Right. Now listen, about three years ago. Actually, you know it's more than that. It's about five years I'm ago. not really interested, Larry. Listen, we, we got notification from Italy that they'd got a floater. Been in the drink weeks. Body was ID as Eddie Myers. All his files, Finito. You still don't understand, do you? His wife ID'd that body. I mean, he's supposed to be dead. His wife had the body cremated. Eddie Myers, good night. I've got his car number. I'll check him out with the local police tomorrow. I mean, maybe I'm wrong, you know. Maybe. You haven't seen me for how long did you say? I just remember him, you know, I mean, he was that kind of bloke. What kind? <laughs> I was very impressionable. I'm not, no. Sorry. We're expecting a wine delivery. There's an exhibition on. If you'd like to leave your name, you're most welcome to come. Do you want to send the book? Mr. Von Joel's other gallery is in Benabana.
What? I know it's him. What? No, no not 100%. No, but... Yeah. Okay, but you get someone from our end to speak to them here, okay? And, and check out the old files. Sorry. Look, okay, I'm sure it's him. Now you check back as far as you can. Uh, can you put that on my bill, please? It's all right. Have you got the Yeah, lovely. <laughs> I've seen more ex-cons along here than I have in London. Oh, Larry, look at the boats. You ought to bring the boys here to see them. Look at that one. Oh, my God, Larry, look at the prices. Swimsuit, he's got no top. <laughs> Send the glass back to London, am I? This has got its prints on it now. They'll take it here and then they'll send it to London, okay? I don't believe you. It's bloody stupid. <laughs> now that's him. He's had his face done, but that's definitely Eddie Myers. The same laugh. They'll be laughing at you. He has been here four years. He's a very wealthy resident. Yes, look, I know that, and I do appreciate your help. But because he has only been here for four years, he is not protected by your extradition laws, which state that until someone has been here for more than five years, the police can take him. That's correct. Nevertheless, I will require substantial evidence to warrant his arrest and subsequent extradition. Now, if he is, as you believe, using false documents, then it is obviously an offence by our law. And if such is the case, it will be my duty to arrest him for questioning. Excuse me one moment. I am afraid, senor, we have only a part print, left thumb and left index finger. I will have them faxed to Scotland Yard. Look, he's got a very powerful speedboat, you know. It's imperative we don't tip him off. He also owns a Monterrey on permanent mooring at Puerto Valus. You know, senor, this could be very embarrassing. Until we hear back from London, I suggest we wait. Do I make myself clear? Stay away from him. Uh, 
I love my beauties. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. Come to daddy. Yes, Ruta. Philip. He's the same man. Good girl. at the gallery. I've got two locals on the Monterey and the speedboat. I mean, he's rolling in it. The villa must be worth about two million and his boat's about 350 grand. Hey, and wait till you see his women. <laughs> right, let's just get this over with. What did you say this guy's name was? Don what? Dominguez. This is mad. I mean, how many more papers have we got to sort through? Oh, come on, Larry, calm down. We've got to go through the procedures. It's unbelievable. I mean, they won't let us arrest him. It's all this I don't want to hear. Well, come on, Sue. I mean, this could mean promotion, love. I knew it was him. Oh, these bastards have got it sewn up over here. You know when they picked up Frankie Day? Six months they held him. Then they let him go. He was on that bullion raid, wasn't he? Oh, we know that. Well, they know that. He's still out here sunning himself. <sighs> Shit, it's hot here. I mean, it's a bloody fiasco, isn't it? They're going to get a, a search warrant. Charles Von Joel would using a false passport. Oh, whatever wreck we've got comes second in line. I don't think we'll get him out, you know. What? You mean he doesn't come under their extradition policy? Oh, calm down, Larry. I think that Dominguez is on our side. Here. You're looking a bit red. Could be rage. Larry, go and check on the kids, Richard. They're in the water. Yeah, and get your skates on. We've got to get back to the station. Oh, if it is convenient. Oh, don't bother! Having a bit of aggro, are we? Hey! Hey! Warrant's been issued. They've got to pick him up. they got blokes going over to his villa. Larry, you, you're on the wrong side of the bloody road! Keep left! Left! That's the gallery over there. Hang on, I'll ask him. You can take two, yeah? Sure. I don't want to flood the market, but I can use as many as you can churn out. Okay. Well, it's going to be a problem, but uh, I think we've got a deal. Vamos, vamos. ¿Cuándo? ¿Qué cosas se han llevado? ¿Cuál es la habitación que han registrado?
Charlotte. Good luck to the villa. Check the passports. Get them to my lawyer fast. Now stay cool. A smile. Come on, smile. That's the girl. Out the back door. Cool bastard, isn't he? Come on. Get the cuffs on him. On me! Dick on me! Second. It's okay, Charlotte. It's okay. Now, can you finish making those arrangements with Bernard for me? I'll take maybe uh, three canvases a year. Now, sweetheart. What are they waiting for? He's knackered. Just don't let him call his lawyer. We don't want anyone to know we've got him. This one down to you, is it? He has asked to speak with his lawyer. We are holding Senorita de Moreno and Senorita Lampton as we want no one contacted. These were taken from his villa. So his residency in this country is illegal. Fonjo photograph is on the mall. So they are forgeries. But if you charge him, then it has to go to a court case, yeah? Mm -hmm. But we know it's Edward Myers. We've got proof. Listen to me, please. He was arrested in Spain. And legally, you cannot just take him back to England. Look, it's stupid. I mean, all this legal crap could go on for months, years. And if they grant him bail, he'll be out of the country. I mean, have you impounded his boat? I mean, you should sort oh, that. Oh, shut it, Larry. He said Von Joel had asked to see his lawyer. He didn't say he'd permitted it. He's giving us a break. Us, Myers, you mean? No, us. I've sussed out what he's up to. He's got Myers banged up in a holding cell. I mean, nobody even knows he's been nabbed. And he can keep him there. Understand? And how long do you think he's going to last in that sweat box? I don't believe this. How long do we have to wait until they make up their minds? Now, they're messing us around. I'm warning you, Jimmy. Oh, yeah. Listen, let's just see how long Myers can last banged up in that cell. With two drunks, a druggie, and only one bucket of piss in. Great legal system, isn't it, eh? I mean, the Spanish authorities don't want all the aggro are dealing with him, but legally, they can't hand him over to us. Unless he comes of his own free will. That's right. Oi! The barman in the swimming pool. <laughs> You're pissed. <laughs> oh, I've had this great joke, right? There's these two English girls and they're on holiday and they can't get cool. They're really hot. And they see this old Spanish woman sitting there. So one of them says to her, Excuse me, can you tell me that is it much cooler like that? And the old woman says, I don't know about being any cooler. But it's, 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 that's disgusting. I don't think it's funny. Oh, 
Oh. I've been waiting for you all night. I've been waiting for you the entire bloody holiday. Ollie? Hello? You're joking. Yeah, I'll be there. Hey, he didn't last long, did he? Eddie Myers wants to talk to us. Where do you think you're going? Prison. I might see you later. Maybe. in here. No wonder they're pulling this dump down. I mean, I've been bitten alive here. You got any of that repellent on you? Yeah, they're bringing them through now. So what's the weather like in London? He's saying he's entitled to take as much luggage as he wants. Is that right? I mean, we're checking everything, but he's got his housekeeper to pack for him. Is that OK? Any extra baggage weight and he pays. Just don't let him anywhere near a telephone. Have you unplugged all the extensions up there? There's a charter at six, so I'll see if there's any tickets available. Charter? No way. I want a scheduled flight. You'll go back any way we think fit, Myers. The British government's paying for this. Let me call my travel agent. Any extra expenses down to me? You can't say I haven't been cooperative. But I won't go back in any clapped-out junkie. You got the number? I make the calls. Sylvie? said it was okay. You coming in? See yourself. You little prick. What? 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 Look, can't you speak English? Well, when? What, today? Tonight? When? Look, look, all... Oh, Jesus! I'll do it. Julio. No, 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 no problem. Quattro, sì, di primera class. <laughs> D'accordo, I'm equal. Adios. Five o'clock flight. Plenty of time. I'll have some lunch served out here on the patio. Can I have 15 minutes? Go on. Help yourselves. Oi. You got a problem? If the governor got to hear about this, it would be a carry on movie. He's upstairs shafting his girlfriend, and Summers is out doing laps of his pool. He's up, Larry. We got him, didn't we? Can I see 
changed since you were last here already. That suntan won't last. Can I have a wash? I need to take a leak. Then I want to make my phone call. Hello, Mac. Still wearing the same raincoat? How oh, you been keeping? In shape. Okay, Mars, let's go. Congratulations. Okay, Jackson. You've got two weeks leave. Take it. Make up for your holiday. Well, I've got a lot of extra expenses, so, you know, uh, phone calls... Well, you know, Sergeant. Fill in your expenses form, as per normal. Well, it's not just that, sir. I mean, if Eddie Myers turns informer again, I mean, I found him. I'd like to see it through. Yeah, I'll be right with you. I'll keep it in mind. Yeah, is Mr. McInnes in yet? Oh, he is. Good. straight you're in it up to your armpits i've got five minutes you've got a custody hearing in the morning normal routine stuff not a ghost of a chance of bail charge of absconding from custody last time will hold you i can't go down sydney you can't avoid it question is how long will it be a deal you fill it out Been a lot of changes since you were last held tougher to negotiate you need to think about what went down in italy that's a different scene altogether that's a possible murder charge Bullshit. <laughs> they brought it up? No, but they could. All I'm saying is it's going to be a lot harder to negotiate this time. I mean, you've been out of circulation for a long time, Eddie. I don't come cheap. <laughs> and whatever you've got had better be red hot. They want you down for a long stretch. McKinnis hates your guts. Word is he was so desperate to get on this that he was down on his knees begging. How much, Sydney? I don't know whether you can afford me. How much, Sydney? Retainer up four grand and fifty to do the negotiations. Cash. Then bonus. Same deal as before. Okay. Can you call my place? Make uh, arrangements for Lola and Charlotte. Get them over here. Put them in a suite at the Hyde Park. Business that good? I'll get the papers drawn up. If you've got information, they'll want to make an application to the court in camera. You've got a long way to go because you're going to have to come up with a hell of a lot more than last time. What's the name of the young guy? On a book to me. Jackson. Lawrence Jackson. Lucky break for the schmuck. Until tomorrow, then. I'll get the necessary papers drawn up. Start thinking. Same as last time. Names, dates, you know the procedure. It's not going to be easy. I'll see how McInnes reacts to your turning queens and get back to you. Lawrence Jackson.
Señor Von Joy is not at home. Hello? Please. No, English, no. Señor Von Joy away. Sí, sí. London. Sí, sí, London. Hello? Hello? George Minton here. He's not in Spain. I don't know, but I don't like him. Can you have a check around? She didn't speak freaking English, so she could be confused. But she said London. Yeah, that's what I thought. It's coming up now, Gov. Get this done and all clear. In here, come on, come on. Frank, grab that coffee. Hold on, it's a bad you, move. The other way, darling. Come on, hurry up. Come on, come on, come on. Right, Frank, let's be having you. About how many of them carried firearms? Majority. Can you give me some facts? Three of them went to the NatWest Bank, asked for money and left. There were no customers. What guns were used? Shotgun and a replica. Where was the robbery? Islington. Can you remember the time of year? No. How much they get? 80 grand. You received that amount? Near enough. Just put it in a suitcase and carried it to Spain. They wear masks? I don't know. Did you pick up the visas personally? On what date? Be around November 1989. November 89? Yes. Okay, now on page 510. There's a photostat copy of this said visa indicating the passport holder went to Bangkok on the 29th of November, 89. Is that correct? Yes. Does that relate to you? Yes. Sure? Yes. Just below to the right of that entry is a faint stamp dated December of that year. Does that relate to you? That was Malaysia picking up cash. Who handed you the cash? George Mint. George Mint? Yeah. Well, I think it was his first payment he went back to England. His first payment? Yes. Does that entry relate to you? Yes. Yes? Yes, yes, yes. How much money was passed to you? Oh, about uh, one, maybe more. A million dollars. One million dollars? Yes. So, this money, explain how it came from Malaysia to Spain. I picked it up by boat. I carried it on the boat. On the boat? Yes. We you now read over the notes of today's interview, and if you agree to the contents, will you initial each answer and sign each page? During this interview, is everything that you've said and signed the truth? Yes. And you understand that confession to the police, which also inculpates co-defendants, is not evidence against those co-defendants, but is treated as hearsay. As this pans out, we'll try for a deal, Myers. How much that jeep worked out at? You'll get it back though, won't you? Yeah, well, uh, they've been a bit tight assed actually about the phone calls and stuff. Said I never had permission to hire a car. I don't believe it. Well, it serves you right. This will mean promotion. Well, it will. We'll just have to wait, that's all. <clears throat> yeah? Yes, yeah, speaking. Yeah, he is. Jaunting. OK. Yeah, is that for me? Yeah, someone called McInnes said you've got to get over to the station. Well, did he say what he wanted? No, just that you've got to take an overnight bag. Yeah. All depends. If the magistrate reckons we've got enough to warrant making a deal. Uh, Terry, I'll be at Bow Street. Tell Frank to meet me at the car around the back. Everything Myers had told us has got to be checked and double-checked. <laughs> Lucky Larry. sods on it. What did I tell you? What we've got up to now is making our hair stand on it. You got anything on that body that was ID'd as Myers? Now, hang on, son. We're negotiating to return royal. Doesn't mean we've got to go ahead, not like in the old days. It'll be up to the magistrates. All set? Let's go. Right. Hang on. 
Lots of blokes in the frame, a lot of cut any Mars balls off, let alone slit his throat. We've got a sealed court. Go on, get in. You know, Frank? All right, let's go. Sergeant, have floater in Italy. We only got the friggin' ashes. His wife had him, or whoever the poor bastard was, cremated. So we only got circumstantial evidence we need more. Yeah, well, if he didn't kill that guy in Italy, I bet you he knows who did. That doesn't concern us now, son. Believe me, I want Eddie Myers stitched up. Why have you brought me in? <laughs> I want him kept sweet. And I wanted to keep on spewing up what he's got. Ask for you personally, Larry, old son. Well, what does that mean? He wants you to sit and hold his hand. <laughs> <laughs> As you can see, ma'am, pages 10, 11, and up to page 14 give details of the fifth offence. This was a particularly violent robbery, and Constable Walter Cook was shot at point-blank range. <laughs> to date, we have been unable to produce the evidence to enable us to arrest the five suspects named at the top of page 15. Did Myers also benefit from the proceeds of the named robbery? Yes, ma'am, he did, and we have access to his private accounts. Page 17 gives details of the bullion raid at Gatwick Airport in June 1987. The men named by Myers have no previous criminal connections uh, or association with any of the four named suspects. None have police records, so the information divulged by Myers is deemed to be of great importance. So what happens next? Well, Jefferson will have his say, and we wait for the outcome. You know, in the good old days, none of this was bloody necessary. We can make the deal and get on with it. And now, evidence in favour of the criminal. This is protecting him, so the deal's on record. There was no mention of that murder, was it? Surely that comes into it. A few flash bastards made promises, and when they couldn't keep them, the grasses would start screeching, withdrawing statements, etc., etc. And now we're going to go through this farce, have him segregated, kept sweet. But, but what's he after? I mean, he's absconded, hasn't he? So surely he's got to do some time. Well, let's find out. The information that my client has produced is, and I quote, deemed of great importance. At the same time, it is obviously, if it were to be discovered, placing my client at great personal risk. He has been totally cooperative, agreeing to return to England from Spain voluntarily. Mr Jefferson, your client absconded from custody five years ago. He was at that time acting as an informer and had spent 16 months in police custody. His presence was of vital importance and subsequent to his escape from custody, charges against eight of the men now named yet again by your client were dismissed. That is correct, ma'am, and I can assure you that my client has every intention of becoming a Crown Prosecution witness again and as his information shows, he will be a worthwhile witness and I ask for this to be taken into consideration at the said trial of my client as his principal motivation for divulging such information is for a reduced sentence. May I suggest that... I suggest to you that your client should have considered this when at great cost to the government he absconded from custody. Would the defendant please rise? You have stated that you are prepared to give evidence against your former colleagues in crime and to assist the police with their inquiries. Have you come to this decision of your own free will and without any compulsion? Yes, ma'am, I have. I am fully aware that your principal motivation for giving evidence against your erstwhile colleagues will be in the hope of a reduction of the sentence you are liable to receive. However, Mr. Myers, I am not, at this stage, prepared to indicate any reduction of sentence. Nevertheless, your continued assistance will be recorded, and I therefore agree to you being kept in conditions of secrecy. This will enable you to continue assisting with inquiries until it is determined what actions and charges will be taken against you. Take him down. I've not been down here before. You get used to it. <laughs> Goes on for miles. Are there any other prisoners down here? Yeah, but you'll never get to see any of them. BCI 
Oh, he's moody. And the magistrate, a hard nosed bitch, still he'll play ball. He knows reduced sentences on the cards, which you're going to have to behave himself. Oh, you've got a lot of reading to catch up on, son. Familiarise yourself with all these old files. It's all yours, Gov. These are the radio controls, tape recorders. We do it in shifts, come and go without our grow, you won't know where you are. And where is he? He's unpacking. You live with him, eat with a guy. You've got to get the name better than your own bleeding mother. End of it, you never want to see Eddie Myers or read his name again, because that bastard doesn't move out of here day or night. Nor do you. You're not going to believe this. He's made out a list. What? He says he eats proteins and carbohydrates only, never together. He wants wild rice. What the hell is wild rice? I mean, I know brown yeah, rice. Get him what he wants. What the bastard eats is not my concern. Yeah, but we've got a freezer full of food. It's all been costed and ordered. I mean, fresh fish. You've got to schlep out of that. Yeah, look, discuss it with the super, all right? Come on. Every time you start a session, make sure you give the exact time. A.M., P.M., date, everything recorded here. Always give the names of the officers on duty. And watch what you say, because everything's fed back to base. When this switches on, it picks up quite a range. Fart in the bathroom, we'll hear it. Peppers, courgettes, carrots, no red meat. It's a bathroom there, toilet. This is where you doss down. The guest is here. So hope he doesn't snore. You've got any decent anchors? Wooden ones. This is the gym. <laughs> Have you ever heard of something called Yanis? You see, he doesn't drink straight tea, only herbal. Oh, yeah, and that's another thing. He doesn't take sugar, just honey. Don't give me any more aggro, right? Just give him what we've got. If he doesn't like it, he can starve for all I care. Come on. got two dozen tapes in there, bloody coloured television set, five-star hotel, this place. Look, uh, how long am I going to be here? Only I didn't bring much stuff here. Well, anything you want, just radio it through. One of my lads will go around to your place. Yeah, but uh, days, weeks, what? Well, as long as it takes. How long was it last time? 18 months. Here's all yours, Jackson. Greason, Donald Leder, Roger Fairclough, Dorian Angel, Harvey Hutchinson, Tommy Hutchinson. You got nothing, McInnes. You hear me, you bastard. You tried this six years ago! Scares you, does he? It's not me I'm worried about, Larry. You've got a wife and kids. Oh, yes, I'm the great 